What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 17.3.1 to the general public. Now along with this release, Apple also released iPadOS 17.3.1, watchOS 10.3.1, and macOS Sonoma 14.3.1. Now taking a look at the size of the update, you can see it came in at 772.9 megabytes on my iPhone 15 Pro. So that size will vary depending on the device you're on and the version you are coming from, but that was the size coming from iOS 17.3, the latest release before this. Now, if we check out the build number for this update, if we head to our settings, general about, you can see the new build number is 21D61. And if we head down a little bit to the modem firmware, that is 1.40.01 on the iPhone 15 series. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 17.3.1? And as you probably saw from the release notes, the main fix here is going to be the single bullet point in the release notes that says text may unexpectedly duplicate or overlap while typing. Now you might have faced this without even knowing it before because this has been around for quite a while. Like I've been experiencing this ever since the latest software updates were released, like iOS 17, macOS Sonoma, ever since they were first released, even in the betas back in last June. So this has been going on for a while. And basically what happens here is that like when you start typing either on Safari or especially in the mail application, it's happened to me quite a lot. If you start typing, sometimes Sometimes the text that you copied earlier or even random empty spaces would just appear out of nowhere and go over or like overlap what you're currently writing. And this is really hard to explain. So that's why these images will help portray what I'm trying to, you know, address here as the bug. And, you know, after you start typing, the text will sometimes just get jumbled together with previous text or, you know, sometimes just overlap completely with previous paragraphs. It doesn't necessarily impact what you're writing. It's more of just a visual bug, but it drove me crazy. Like this has happened to me I mean, almost every single day at this point, it mainly happens to me on Mac OS when I'm typing an email on Google, like in the Gmail or in the Google suite. So this bug has been reported several times on the Apple support forums over the past few months, especially with Mac OS, but this is also happening on iOS and iPad OS and apparently watch OS as well, because we did also get a watch OS update. So that tells me that this must be a WebKit related bug. And that's also the reason that we did not see a new update pushed out for TV OS, because this is only impacting devices that can, you know, browse the web and go into mail and things like that. That. And this update might even fix the bug that I've had for like two years now, where if you type something in and then you go out of the application and then back into it, sometimes that text would just be completely gone. Or sometimes it would be like if I were to backspace right here, I would go out and then go back in and the word that I just backspaced on and removed would still be there. So that's been a bug I've been facing for quite a while. Most of the time, the text just completely disappears or has something that I you know, put in previously there instead. So I'm hoping that this update addresses that as well, since it is somewhat similar. And if you are running the iOS 17.4 betas at the moment, I would expect this patch to be included in the latest 17.4 beta. So beta two right now, if not, it will be included with beta three. So if you're having this bug and you're on the betas, don't worry, that fix is coming for you as well. Now, what's interesting about this update is that there are no published CVE entries. So don't expect any security bugs to be patched with 17.3.1, which is quite rare because usually with a double point update, like a 0.3.1, you typically see at least one security patch for these type of updates, but nothing here with 17.3.1. So it seems like really the only fix is related to that WebKit bug that had the text overlapping or duplicating when typing. And then for those wondering about the notification center bug, that unfortunately is still there. You can see the notification center text is all jumbly. It just has a really weird animation there in 17.3.1. So that is still not addressed. And there are also some issues with the widgets. So the clock widget specifically like this widget did not show up for me at first I had to reboot and then it showed up properly I gave it time you know to populate but it still did not show up right away so that's been a bug that's been going on for a while but I noticed that was 17.3.1 and there's also been a random influx in people reporting to me that they're having issues with the volume buttons not controlling the volume properly on their phone until they reboot 
and almost every one of those people have had an iPhone 15 Pro series, and it must be having something to do with the new mute button that's replaced the switch because some people are also reporting that, that when they are in like a muted state, when they have the mute button selected right there, that nothing uh, plays audio like third party applications like Snapchat or Instagram, they cannot hear audio when that is turned on, whereas they could have before 17.3 was released. So that could be fixed for some people and 17.3.1, you will have to let me know in a comment down below because I've not had that issue personally. And then when it comes to the performance and the battery life, performance for me feels about the same as 17.3 and I wouldn't really expect any type of major jump with a double point update. Apple typically does not really address anything related to performance on a double point update. However, I did run a Geekbench 6 test and we scored a really solid 2946 on the single core and a 7259 on the multi core. So if you compare that to our last run here where we got a 2941 and a 7278, you can see that it is higher on the single core and just slightly lower on the multi core. But again, take these results with a grain of salt. They're not really indicative of how your everyday usage is going to be affected in terms of performance. I really would not expect any difference from 17.3. And then the same goes with battery life. So if you're having great battery life on 17.3.1, I would not go into this thinking like, oh, this update is going to ruin my battery life. I'm not going to have good battery life because just like with performance, Apple is not really touching anything related to the battery life. So I would not expect battery life to get any better or any worse than it was on 17.3. Now, if you're having battery drain issues, like I always say, most of the time, honestly, that is just a user error. That's something that you're doing that's impacting it, not necessarily the software. So if you're having battery drain issues, you can update to see if it's going to fix it. But most of the time, it's not really something fully related to the software. So now should you update to iOS 17.3.1? Or should you just hold off and stay on 17.3? Or maybe you're even on an earlier version of iOS 17. And I would say that if you had the bug that I was mentioning earlier with text overlapping, text disappearing, just any type of text related issues in WebKit, aka Safari, Mail, anything like that, then absolutely, I would, I would for sure update to 17.3.1. Because if you had that bug, like me, you know that it drives you absolutely crazy and it is extremely annoying. So for that reason alone, yes, I would go ahead and update. Now, at the same time, there are no security patches. There were no CVE entries that Apple published for 17.3.1. So I'm not going to treat this as a must download like I normally do with these double point updates because they typically have security patches included. So we don't have any security patches. So I don't think you need to run out, you know, and install this right away. But like I said, if you're on 17.3, you're not really going to see any difference in terms of usability on a day to day basis if you update to 17.3.1. And as an added benefit, you're going to get a bug fix. So I really don't see any reason not to go ahead and update if you're already running the previous latest version, aka 17.3. And of course, if you're on the betas right now, 17.4 beta, then you don't need to worry about 17.3.1 at all, because you have 17.4 to look forward to. And speaking of iOS 17.4, let's go ahead and talk about what to expect next from Apple. So next up is most likely going to be iOS 17.4. Now, is there a possibility of a 17.3.2? Sure, but I don't think that's very likely unless Apple finds something, you know, that they need to rush out a security fix for. So other than that, I would expect to see 17.4 at some point in early March. Right now, it's looking like we're going to see 17.4 either on the week of March 4th or the week of March 11th. And Apple typically releases public versions of the software on Monday. Today is a rarity since we did get it on a Thursday, but Apple does typically release public, you know, updates on Mondays. So March 4th or March 11th looks like a high likelihood. But anyways, guys, there you have it. That is iOS 17.3.1, a very minor update with a very major fix for a very annoying bug that I and many others have been facing for quite a while. So if you downloaded the update and you noticed anything else new, anything good, anything bad, let me know in a comment down below as always. And I will address more about this update and iOS 17.4 in my Apple weekly episode on a Saturday. But if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future iOS videos just like this one. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.